السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مادة الباور سيستم اناليسيس المرحلة الرابعة إلى طلاب الجامعة التكنولوجية قسم هندسة الكهروميكانيك الموضوع هو انسيمتريكال فولد بارت 2 لاين تو لاين اند دبل لاين تو جراوند فولد يلقيها على مسامعكم دكتور غسان عبد الحسين بلال The first the line to line fault. So the line to line fault occur when there are two conductor. Okay, we have two conductor are shorted. So if you see this is three phase, this three phase, phase A, phase B, and phase C. So we have two line which is shorted okay with impedance with impedance zf that's called line to line fault okay so this figure is to represent the line to line fault and the voltage between phase a to ground phase b to ground and phase c to ground and the current is coming from phase a here okay uh, phase c coming here which is opposite so there are some boundaries for the line to line fault. First, we have this equation IB equal minus IC, and when the IA is a zero, right? And then the drop voltage between phase B and phase C equal the impedance between uh, the phase A and phase B, which is ZF multiplied by current. Okay, so the special case if the short circuit is bolted with ZF, if we have ZF here, zero, so this part is going to be zero, so VB equal VC. Okay, you will get this formula. So the sequence component of current R represent this as we explained in, this in, the, in the previous lectures, which is uh, IA, IB, IC. So the IA is zero for line to line ground because phase A is zero and then IC which is minus IB or minus IC so we re replace IC with a minus IB so we put minus IB here okay so we get this formula so IA naught when we solve this by multiply this row to this column you will get this and this also so the same equation for the draw voltage between phase B and phase C. So if we use the uh, voltage sequence, not current sequence, uh, the voltage sequence, which is this formula, VA naught, VA1, and VA2 equal 1 over 3, the matrix and the phases. VA, VB, and VC. So when we solve this, you will get this equation. By substitute VB, which is here by multiply row on the column, so you will get VB, so you will substitute this is represent the VB, and this represent VC. Okay, and this represent IB. So this is IB, and this is V. C and this is VB. Okay? So by solve this equation, the whole equation, you will get this VA1 minus VA2 equals ZFIA1. So the sequence component of voltages are represented with this. This is three important equation we explained in a previous <coughs> lecture with the line to ground fault. So the combination and solve this equation above by combination and solve this, you will get this equation, which is really important. So IA equal VF divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus ZF. So try to complete this and solve it. So you will get this. Try to get this. So try to get this by combine this three equations. So the fault current is given by, as we have IB equal minus IC, so the IB given by this, so the IA naught we have it zero, 
So this equation by taking IA out of the parentheses, you will get this equation. So IB by substituting this with I. So IA is VF divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus ZF as we see in the previous slide. So we, we substitute this here, so you will get IB like this. So the IF, the fault current, equal the I phase B minus I phase C. And this is IA square minus IA, which is represented minus JO3. Okay? So you will get this equation. So this is the fault for line-to-line -line current. So the interconnection of sequence network so I A naught is zero, we have it. So we will get this equation and this equation as in previous. So for the positive and negative sequence network must be in parallel with series ZF, as you see in this figure. So in line to line, we have to be the positive, and this this is the circuit of the positive, it has a source, it has source and it has impedance. And this is the circuit for the negative. It has just impedance. Okay? So it's connected with the ZF. So two in parallel connected with ZF. This is grounded. Okay? This is really important circuit for the line-to-line -line ground. The special case ZF is zero. So you will get all this formula. Okay? So now double line to ground faults. So the double line to ground force is shown in f this figure. So the same line to line, but now we have line to line and we have a grounded. So it's connected double line to ground. So phase B, phase C connected to the ground by impedance. Okay. So the boundary condition of this double line to ground, the IA is zero, the same line to line. The VB equal VC, the VB equal VC, and then equal ZF multiplied by AB plus IC. So both of them are them. It's not it's not the impedance here. The impedance after is connected to the ground. So the current IC, IB, and then there is current here. The current here, we can call it any current. It's a IF, for example, IZF. IZF is called it. So this is current, add them together, which is here. Okay? Multiply by ZF, you will get the drop voltage here. So this is complete circuit. Okay? So if ZF zero, that means this part is zero. So VB equal VC. So the IA node from the sequence uh, components, we have this. And then the IA zero, so we add here zero. So you will find this equation, multiply three by IA node, you will get this equation, and then VB equal VC, so ZF, we, we can't come to this here, so ZF IB plus IC, which is a 3 I naught, so we substitute 3 I naught here, so you will get this 3 ZF I A naught. And then for the symmetrical components, this we have it, is a familiar for you. So the second and third row, this second and third, this is second and this is third row, uh, this equation that VA1 equal VA2. So while the first row show that this, by solving this, multiply the row by the column, you will get 3VA0 equal VA plus 2VB, and then equal, uh, substitute this, plus 2, 3, ZF, I, A nodes. Okay? So, by, by co collecting zero sequence term on the sign this, and solving for A, A nodes, so we obtain this. So, this is all this equation that we know for the double line to ground fault. Okay? So th now the interconnection of the zero sequence. So we have a three circuit. This is the positive, this is the negative, and this is the zero. 
So for the line to line, we don't have zero, but for double line to ground fall, is we have zero positive and negative. So this is we have three currents. So the current of the positive and the negative and the zero, and this is the equation. You don't need to know how to drive this. It's just equations, which is long derivative to, to get this. So let's take example to be clear for you. So draw the sequence network for the system shown in figure. This figure below determine fault current when a a double line to ground fault and line to line fault occur at point F. Where is the F? This F. Okay. So the baryonic reactants, all reactants are referred to the same base as follow. So we have generator one, generator two, line one, line two, as you see in this figure. And you have zero, this is zero, this is positive, this is negative. So both generator are generated with then one baryonic. Okay. So now, so we have this circuit. Okay, so this is it has reactants, reactants of transformer for transmission line, and we have all this. So, but just transfer all this amount that we have to positive. This is positive because it has source. Okay, so and this is negative, and this is zero. So we're gonna get the Z, Z, which is this signal for the positive. How? By add this together because it's series. This is in parallel, and this is in series. So this is in series with this in parallel, all together in series. And all this, you see, this is 0.10 plus this is in series. And this is 0.3 divided by 2 because it's the same. And plus 0.1 and plus 0.0. So this part is parallel with this part. So you will get Z1. For this, the same. This is in parallel. This is in series and this is in series with this in series so all this in series so you will get the z2 and for z naught the same this is in series this is in series with this in series so all together in parallel you will get the z naught now we have a z1 z2 and z naught so what we need to apply this for this formula ia1 so Z0, Z2, Z1, all we have, so just add them, and then you will get IA1. So to get IA2, it's just minus IA1. So this is minus IA0. So for IA2, this is the formula for IA1, and uh, IA0, and IA2, this formula. We substitute the Z0, Z2, and IA1, so you will get the value. So for the fault currents, we add IA0, IA1, IA2 to get IA. So we get IA, which is 0. Okay. It's sometimes it has a value, sometimes get 0. It's not because it's... Uh, okay. But I mean, if, if you get this 0, that means the other two should be values because you have a double line to ground for. One of the phase is zero, okay? So for the IB and IC, when you add them, you will get this value, okay? Now for IA1, so the VF we have is Z1, Z2, the value that you calculate, you will get IA1. So the IA2 equal minus IA1, sorry. You will get the value on IA note is zero. So the full current add all together. So you will get the current is zero on IB, IC, which is opposite as you see from the formula. We explained it before. Which is here. Okay. So if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you so much.